This past Wednesday, Catholics began the season of Lent. Lent is a season traditionally marked by three pillars, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. One of the things I want to stress is that all three pillars are necessary to truly engage and enter into Lent. They stand together as three legs of a three-legged stool, so to speak, supporting the overall goal of Lent, which is, of course, to grow into a deeper union with God, a deeper relationship with God. And I say this because a lot of times I find Catholics will engage one or two of the pillars, but not all three. A lot of times people will come up to me and say something to the effect of, Father, This year for Lent, I've decided instead of fasting, I'm going to do something extra. And they say this as if this were some kind of a breakthrough or something. And I always remind them, I say, well, that's great. You've got almsgiving, but you still need that fasting. See, all three pillars are necessary in order to really engage this goal of forming a deeper relationship with God. By way of analogy, think about parents and their relationship to to their children. When they really want to enter into a relationship with their children, they know that they have to undergo some fasting. That is, they have to refrain from treating themselves to certain things because they have to give time to their kids. They have to open up that space for their children. That's what we're doing with fasting in terms of our relationship with God. We're letting go of certain things that we enjoy to open up that space for God. Almsgiving. Any parent will tell you, of course, that being a parent means that you have to give and give and give for your children. Well, the same thing is true with our relationship with God. We have to give and give and give in order to really enter into that relationship with God. We have to put forth effort, in other words. And part of the reason, of course, is that our relationship with God is never just a you and me relationship, but it involves a communal aspect as well. And so the concerns and needs of the community, especially the poor, are also our concerns and needs, and they bring us into that deeper relationship with God. And then, of course, prayer. We all know that we need to have that conversation time. Parents will have that time where they converse with their children, where they're talking with them and engaging them in dialogue. Well, that's what prayer is. It's the engaging in dialogue with God. And so all three of these pillars are necessary for building that proper relationship with God. You know, I think Lent tends to get a bad rep. A lot of times people will think of it in a negative sense because it is focused on repentance and conversion. And a lot of times people take that word repentance and they think that it means, oh, I need to beat myself up over my sins. That's not what repentance is. Rather, think of it this way. We've done things that have become barriers to our relationship with God, that have put stumbling blocks in place. That's what repentance is about. It's about removing these barriers so that we can truly enter into this deeply profound relationship with God. It's not about beating ourselves up over sins, but it's saying, what do I need to do to have a deeply profound and personal relationship with God? And that's the goal of the Lenten season is to kind of pull us outside of our normal routine activities so that we can truly focus on that relationship with God in an intense manner that's going to allow us to enter into an intimate union with God. See, so often what happens in our ordinary lives is our relationship with God becomes somewhat mechanical, somewhat routine. We go to Mass every week, we hear the readings, but we just kind of are going through motions. Or perhaps we're praying a rosary, but we're not paying attention to any of the Hail Marys, the Our Fathers, or the Glory Bees. We're just whipping through these beads and not really acknowledging what we're doing. Lent tells us, hey, let's take a step back And let's focus intently on this relationship. What is it I'm asking God? What is it God is saying to me? What is God asking me to do? Those are the types of things that are going to help us build that deeply profound and personal relationship with God. And that's what Lent is about, is about bringing us into that greater union with God. So far from being a season that we should lament, it's really a season of great joy. And my goal over the next few weeks is to help people understand how each of these pillars of Lent can bring us into a greater sense of joy. So those will be the next three upcoming videos on Working to Beat Hell. will be on prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, so that as we enter into this Lenten season, we can see how each one of these pillars will bring us into a greater sense of joy and a greater relationship with God.